Hey fellas, before we get in the video, I just want to quickly say that I'm advocating for or encouraging the doxing, targeting, harassment, or bullying of any individuals that we mention or feature in this video, video, or this is an opinion piece of my particular commentary on the subject matter, however controversial as it may be. So, without that quickly say it, let's go ahead and start the show. Hey, hey what's going on everybody? To Japan, I'm back in action. Talk about CLS today, but something else, it's going to be about Hypnos Sappho. This is kind of a breaking news announcement right here because, um, you know, I was just putting some touches on that response video to a call-out post that was posted months ago. I know, three months down the line, I do apologize, but I had a lot of shit going on in my life, and I can think of a million better things to be doing than responding to a self-admitted dogfucker. But as it pertains to this particular video, Hypnos Sappho has kind of flown the coop. Uh, I don't know, like something definitely happened and just a cursory glance at everything I'm aware of. It would appear that some things have definitely happened, but I'm going to mention a couple of them. Um, I'm definitely going to be doing a little bit more research, but I just figure it just happened and it's kind of jarring considering the fact that Hypnos Sappho voiced her intention on staying previously. Since you assholes want to try as hard as possible to get rid of me, I'm staying. I'm staying, and do you know what? Fuck all of you. That one didn't age well. Blow it out your ass. In spite of us idiots and antis, people watching this video right now, including you and me. Um, but uh, this is the part where I would usually say, hey, we're going to go ahead back in a second. We're going to go to the computer room. We're going to go ahead and read this together. I'm going to do it fucking right here now. So... Hey y'all, it's Hypnos Sappho here. I hinted at it a few days ago, but I think it would be best for me to rest and go on my for now. I will pass the servers Zeiss Love and Sappho Love onto the be maintained by trusted individuals, so do not worry about that. I only came back out of spite because some idiots sufficiently pissed me off. Good job. I have gradually worked on letting that hate taper off. No, you haven't. But now, I have cleaner and healthier obligations to tend to, like church, reading the Bible, praying and worship, volunteering, and donating money and time. I think my work for now is done. If I do come back, it will likely be a lot different, and I may have written some things by then for publication that could prove useful. For now, I will leave and pray for each and every one of you. Go out there and be radicals. Treat all living things with care and love and continue to be non-violent and peaceful. Pray for even those that hate us. I think my spirit has been tested greatly, scorched and beaten but still standing. It is time for me to rest. I love you all and promise I won't do anything crazy while I'm gone. Goodbye, Valerie. Go to the church and ask God to fuck you. Ain't that just sweet as a pea? Uh, so that all being stated, what the fuck is Hypnos Sappho saying? Like, you know, her spirit has been tested greatly. She's acting like she's the protagonist of some anime that we've never even heard of. <coughs> One Piece. <coughs> um, but no, like literally, she seems obsessed with the ideals of martyrdom and sainthood because um, she posts something similar on Twitter. Like, you might have remembered from my community tab a couple days ago that I just, you know, posted something and, you know, it just seemed like she kind of lost it. She went ahead and lost it. You know, whatever she had, she lost and she is just deluded in these, like, delusions of grandeur. But all she really did is come online, indoctrinate or groom a bunch of minors. The internet didn't like that. The internet collectively kind of, like, bashed her down and said, stop doing that. Hymnus Sappho said no, that she had a right to exist as she does as a paraphile, and that we all need to accept her, you know, sexuality. You know, this is just more proof that she hasn't changed a goddamn little bit. You know, honestly. Like, the fact that she's referring to us. Us is her and her following. And her following largely consists of minors or people that are zoophiles, or paraphiles, if you prefer, themselves. Um... But goddamn, she acts like she went off and fought a war or something and that she's wounded and stuff like that. And she even says, though I may die, I will go and I will strive and triumph. Like acting like she's going to climb a goddamn mountain or something. A goddamn mountain of bullshit, maybe. Um, so what am I aware of? Okay, so there's this guy. 
I heard about him months ago. I just call him Lazzy Lazarus, although a lot of people just call him Lazzy. Suppose, or he or she or it, I, I, I don't know. All I know is that their, their avatar online reminds me of Mal. And if you don't know what Mal is, Mal is an SCP that only appears on cell phones in very specific circumstances. Um, that being stated, Lazzy is like somebody that Hypnos Sappho does not like anymore. Um, like Hypnos Sappho actually refers to them as a serial stalker, and that apparently Lazzy has been infesting her Discord server. You know, the Discord server that she set up not too long ago that got nuked. Then they moved things to a Matrix server that was web, br web browser based, and you know, that's what she's referring to. Those two links, like Sappho.love and Zeiss.love. So that ought to be said. Um, you know, she was actively encouraging people to like beware of Lazzy. And that supposedly people in Mexico that were aligned with Sappho had gotten the police to go like give Lazzy a stern talking to. But here's the thing. People on Kiwi Farms, like, the entire premise of Hypnos Sappho coming back to the internet seemed to bank on the fact that Kiwi Farms was going to go under. Remember the Keffel's kerfluffle that we covered, like, not too many months ago? And, like, Keffel's had managed to, like, you know, initiate a campaign against Kiwi Farms to get Cloudflare to drop Kiwi Farms, like, any protections that Cloudflare was going to provide to Kiwi Farms. Um, Cloudflare was basically just going to kick them, like, off to the curb, and Kiwi Farms was going to be shit at, like, you know, up Sheep Creek without any DDoS protection. Now, the reason that, like, Keffels and various other followers of her and various other people that have an axe to grind against Kiwi Farms went after Kiwi Farms the way they did... They were trying to get various, uh, like, you know, service providers that provided DDoS protection to drop Kiwi Farms because it would enable them to launch DDoS attacks against, like, Kiwi Farms without any opposition. Now, Kiwi Farms has gone through great lengths to come back in some shape, way, or form, and they are basically operational like they were. They keep, like, coming back and going down and coming back and going down, and Joshua Moon is trying his hardest to, like, keep the website going, like, in spite of all the opposition by various parties out there, including some politicians, but, um, like, doesn't it just seem a little bit convenient? Kiwi Farms goes down, him and Safa comes back, I'm here to stay. Kiwi Farms comes back and is somewhat stable. Oh shit, I better go. Um, also, Kiwi Farms seems to be getting closer to like unlocking Hypnos Sappho's full docs. And this is off the record. Well, I'm saying it in a YouTube video, so I guess it's technically on the record, but I'm just going to go ahead and say. Um, so some people that I know, all right, like these are just people on VR chat. Word is that she moved to Tennessee. I don't think she's in Tennessee anymore. I think she jumped states to another state, but um, she moved from Connecticut, if you could believe that that's her place of residence or her former place of residence. She's moved from Connecticut to Tennessee and then from Tennessee to somewhere else. Um, trying to make it a little bit harder for anybody that's like following her trail to like dox her, but the fact that it, like Kiwi Farms had managed to find compelling evidence corroborate the idea that she, like her former name, her dead name, if you prefer. See, I was always under the impression that him and Sappho's actual name was Valerie Arden. Valerie is only corroborated by those pill bottles that she posted. Um, nothing else. Her dead name, I'm not gonna say yet, but like I want to research this and actually look beyond like a shadow of reasonable doubt. This is actually her identity. But some people were talking about, hey, this might be her actual identity or her dead name because you know she's trans. Um, that right there kind of tells me that Hypnos Sappho is spooked. Maybe. Like, there's a reason that she's turning tail and fleeing at this late stage of the game, all right? Because uh, notice how, like, back in December, she left for a while. She didn't really leave. She was just kind of coasting under the radar until it became fortuitous for her to come back and make noise, target me and Kylie Lovely, and basically we told her to fuck off. But um, at, the same, like, at the same time, you know, like, the fact that she, you know... Initiated a hate campaign against Kelly Lovely. It went nowhere because 
Kind of lovely, apart from experiencing some minor embarrassment, I'm sure. Like, he's still there. He's still kicking. He's still making videos. He's still you know, has a very large presence on Twitter. But, um, you know, that went nowhere, so she starts a Discord. Discord gets nuked from Orbit. Something happened with the Discord from the inside out, so she starts this Matrix server that she herself had put her knowledge in cybersecurity into making it work, Zeiss and Sappho.love, and making sure that there's something resembling a vetting process in order to take people in. Because I would imagine that there's plenty of people that would just kind of like take the opportunity to go in there and cause all kinds of bullshit or collect information to share publicly later. Um, anyway, while I have you all here, as far as more recent events, not necessarily related with what was said in this... Her going to church, she mentioned not too long ago that she was going to be attending church, and it just seemed kind of weird to me because it's like, this coming from, like, you know, somebody that is the least bit... Well, I can't really say that she's not religious because, you know, the religion, she did start like a cult, like a zoophile cult. That's what people consider everything that she's been doing, you know? Like, collecting in all these miners that refer to her as Mama Sappho. She is a cult leader, you know, in a sense. Except that the religion is based on her ideals of what should be and, like, versus what should not be as far as Zophilia goes. And that they're so much better than people like Kira the Wolf because they don't abuse animals. Love for all. All living things. Um, she went to church not too long ago. I forget which church this is, but she voiced her intentions of doing some volunteer work. I don't know what it is. I'm getting like this image in my mind where it's Sappho's like, you know, um, character, but she's like dressed up like a nun. Like that's, that's the image that I'm getting. Or maybe like, you know, the handmaiden's tale, you know, those outfits that they force the women to wear. Maybe she's wearing something like that. that that's like the mental image that came to mind when I first read that. She's a born-again Christian. She's turning a new leaf. And she's not because she's still using terminology like antis and like, you know, an us versus them mentality. You know, in terms of her following and stuff like that. But um, yeah, a lot of weird things just kind of happening all at once. And the big thing for me is the fact that Kiwi Farms came back in some way, shape, or form. Um, the very entity that seems the most interested on nailing Hypnos Sappho to a, like, you know, the wall with a 10-inch railroad spike. Yeah, it's so weird that they come back and they're kind of stable and they're still, like, you know, have the full intention of going after zoophiles and pedophiles. Which, Hypnos Sappho is one and the same, so don't think that her last two videos were anything to go off of. Uh, she likes to lie through her teeth, all right? Like, if you have no idea who I'm referring to, I'm just going to go ahead and tell you. This is a woman that has a history of being a pathological liar, all right? Especially if it fits her agenda, all right? But, um, yeah, I just want to give you that quick update. Uh, this is probably going to appear probably less than a day after it happened because um, I found out, like, about two hours after, like, the videos were deleted and she had made that comment, and I was just kind of raising my eyebrow because it was just like, really? And I just checked on her channel out of curiosity. Was there any updates, any videos, anything like this, that, and the other? Um, I'm blocked on her Twitter, by the way. She finally found my, alter my alternative identity. And even if I made an alt account, well, I'm not going to be able to look at her tweets anyway because um, she set up some sort of block. So do I fully believe her? Like, she seems like she's going full North Korea on us. Like, all, like, a lockdown. We're going to put up the Iron Curtain. We're going to keep out all opposition. And it's like, if you're so loud and proud and you think that you're doing nothing wrong in everything that you're doing, why are you taking all these measures to obscure and obfuscate, like, anything that you're doing? That tells me that you're doing things in private that would be the least bit egregious. But, again, that would just be me saying the obvious. So, when's Hypnos Sappho coming back? I don't know. Visually, it looks weird. Um, so, for a while, as if like it was like a troll sort of like gesture, she had her like avatar, her character, her persona, kind of like looking paranoid and like freaked out in like prison garb. 
like an orange jumpsuit. And like, you know, she seemed like she was teasing the idea that we were all expecting her to get arrested or at least investigated by the proper authorities. That obviously never happened, but she seems to have adopted strange sort of Egyptian motif. Like if you look at her avatar picture on both Twitter and YouTube, um, she seems like she's adopting sort of Egyptian, like, you know, motif, like a visage that like, you know, style. And that's pretty hilarious because if she's going to be religious now, volunteer for a church to get brownie points and sort of like dispel some of the narrative that she's a terrible person. It's all for publicity, I'm sure. Like, <laughs> there's no fucking way. But um, I also do remember in the Bible that the Egyptians weren't exactly portrayed the best considering their treatment of the Jews and various other figures throughout history in the Bible. At least the ancient Egyptians, you know. Um, I don't know. It's just like, she gets more and more unhinged by the day and the things that she says. I think the best sort of like portrayal of her mindset was in the last few tweets that she left on her Twitter, where she was acting like she's some hero standing against a merciless onslaught of like attacks. And it's like, here's the thing. If you're facing like actual fights in real life, I'd be the least bit more respectful of her. But considering that she's making internet drama seem like a war, a war that, in spite of all odds, she's still standing and she's puffing out her chest and she's ready to fight to her last breath. Um, yeah, that's not very impressive to me, you know, because drama happens on the daily. Um, people act a fool for less, you know, and like, she's no exception in that regard. There is nothing of value that she's really provided you know, in fact, she has, like, caused more damage than I can possibly convey in a single video. Various miners out there are indoctrinated into believing that they are zoophiles themselves. And it's something that I, Kylie Lovely, and various others have sort of, like, pointed to as a basis as to why we hold Hidden Sappho in contempt. Nothing's going to change that. Community hours at a church or other, like, charitable organization is not going to change that. And this is just falling into the category of more, increasingly more bizarre behavior by a self-admitted dogfucker who claims that she has changed her ways, claims that this is all under nuance and philosophy, but at the end of the day, she hasn't changed a goddamn bit. She wants to put on a show, she wants to put on a performance, she wants to retain her identity as Sappho in some way, shape, or form, but she seems to revel in the negative attention. And, you know, her considering this to be, like, an actual war, where, like, guns are going off, swords are being swung, we are actually getting into fisticuffs, um, just shows to me how deluded she is. She's taking this way too seriously. And she seems to bank on the ideals that she is a martyr, a martyr for her cause, of standing up for zoophilia, map rights, and paraphile rights everywhere. But again, only time will tell how this is going to play out. Is she going to come back? Is it going to be a week, a month, a year? Who knows? Stay tuned. But hope you all enjoy this video, this little update that I could provide for you all. I will definitely be looking into this a little bit deeper. If I find anything compelling that I can turn into a video and give you a synopsis that you can sort of just pour over and reflect upon, you'll all be the first to know. Anyway, till next time guys, take care and peace. I hope you all have a better one.
Hey, fellas. Thanks for watching the video today. I really hope you all enjoyed it. Or did you care hit that like button to subscribe for more? You know I really appreciate that, right? And hey, if you're in the mood for game, why don't you check me out on Twitch sometime? Link in the description below. Anyway, till next time, guys. Take care and peace. I hope you all have a better one.